Hi, do you know that mango itself can be a snack? Stick with me and I'll show you how. <laughs> Hi lovelies, I'm the Lazy Niger Mom and you're welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you yet another way to preserve your mangoes. So my previous video we talked about mango jam as a way of preserving mangoes. This time we're going to be drying our mangoes to preserve them. And I'm going to show you how I dry mine. So a few years ago, someone sent me a pack of goodies and one of it was a packet of dried Philippine mangoes. At first I was like, what's dried mango? And when I tasted them, they tasted so good. And I'm like, wow. And so ever since then, I've been drying my own mangoes. It's nutritious and best of all, it's homemade. So first things first, we'll start by washing our fruits under running tap water or washing with clean water if you do not have access to tap water i prefer using the very ripe mangoes and those that are at risk of getting spoiled so you start by cutting off the sides of your mango As you can see, I cut as close to the seed as I can. I sometimes use a peeler if the mango skin is firm, but in this video, I'll be using a knife more because some of the mangoes are soft. You may decide to cut up before peeling your mangoes. Or you may decide to peel then cut up the mangoes. I usually cut mine um, like 0 0.5 inches thick. You can also cut it up like so. This particular mango is soft and um, overripe. I'm just going to cut out the parts I want and the rest I'm going to use them to do something else like juicing or heating them up. After cutting them up, I'm going to be placing them in the dehydrating trays like so. Um, you can arrange them whichever way you want. I just like placing mine like this. The most important thing is that they are well spaced so that air can pass around evenly. Next, we're going to be placing our loaded trays in the dehydrator. I'll cover them up and then turn it on. Then fix the temperature I want it to dry at. I normally toggle between um, 45 to 60, 70. So I'm going to be leaving it here overnight, hopefully, if the power supply does not disappoint us. Please do not eat so much when they are dry because since they've lost their moisture content, it's easy to eat more than you should. So after a few hours, I'll be checking the mangoes to see how they're faring. I sometimes have to turn them up a bit by maybe exchanging the basket layout from where it was before, just to enjoy, ensure that the, their air is evenly distributed among them and that they dry evenly. So I'll be doing it from time to time 
for the next few hours, probably 24 hours or more. Also, so I guys, also adjust um, the temperature if I need to. This is one of the trays from the dried mangoes or dehydrated mangoes. It's, as you can see, it's already dry enough. You can make it drier or crispier if you want. I want it to be a little bit chewable, a little bit chewy. So mine is like this. It's going to last me for six months. So I'm going to put them in the storage container and I'll be right back. So I have stored them in their respective containers. These are the chewy ones. The more chewy ones, oh my God. The more chewy ones, I have to use the vacuum pump to pump that one before it seals tightly. This one is drier. As you can see, it looks drier than this. I'm going to lay them flat so you see what I'm trying to say. It's drier than this one. This is much, much drier. And I just keep them. This will last me for up to two months or even more. Sometimes six, if well sealed, can last me for six months. You can also store them in Ziploc bags or vacuum bags. I'll be posting new video every week and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye!